it's very hard to put your finger on it, but it's just been enjoyable. Um, and uh, it's, it's, we've gained several new friends. major reason why we uh, wanted to take someone in was let's do something. My wife and I can do this because we're very lucky, we're very privileged, we live in a largish house in Bath um, and I'm semi-retired, uh, I don't, um, it's not difficult for us to provide space. It's a four bedroom house um, and uh, um, it's just not difficult for us. Uh, we wanted to do it because, as I said, we, we felt that this is an appalling situation that uh, Ukraine is in, and uh, we're someone who can help. Um, the Homes for Ukraine scheme of the Council have frankly been superb. I signed up for a, a, a site um, managed by a Ukrainian diaspora, uh, Ukrainians abroad, and through that found Tanya and Daniel um, in the middle of May last year, or rather she, she found us. Um, and then they came over here, they arrived on 13th, I think, of June uh, in Bath, and uh, um, Tanya's been with us ever since. Uh, unfortunately, she can't be here because actually she's working at the top of the house. Um, shortly before um, uh, they arrived, um, the uh, uh, homes for Ukraine people at the council um, came round and made sure that we were okay to host someone. We had to fill in various forms, but thankfully not very much. Um, and from then on, if we had a problem, I would go, uh, or she would go, to the homes for Ukraine scheme here in Bath and ask for advice. And um, we got it. Uh, I must say, the local community overall, the council certainly, but just. Bath people have been, been great. Well, I have to say, we don't, the, the challenges are not logistical, not, um, uh, you know, how, how do we arrange money, for example, or shopping or anything like that. Uh, money is not a problem. Uh, we get um, 500 pounds a month now, uh, money from the central government and money topped up by the council which uh, is frankly fine. Uh, um, we've never really had a conversation about money with her. She does her own shopping, her own cooking. Um, she occasionally makes us a delicious borscht and, and bread, but I mean, you know, we cook for her as well. But on the whole, she cooks for herself. She's independent, um, shops for herself. Um, she refuses to drive and, and uh, so she goes about town on buses and walks and everything. Um, living in the house, uh, it's, it's not a problem. Um, she, in a sense, the top of the house is hers. She's got her own shower room, bedroom. We had a, her son Daniel with us as well for about six months. Uh, he's now back in, in Kiev. Uh, and um, it was great to have them. Uh, we actually, I think, almost benefited uh, more than they did. Um, it's, it's been wonderful to uh, meet such people and it's uh, been a fascinating process. What I loved about the experience, um, learning from, from Tanya and from Daniel, uh, seeing the world from a different perspective, which is what you always do when you have uh, foreign friends, and she is a friend. Um, uh, um, yeah, it's it, it's also come to think of it, it's taken us out a little bit of our little world here in Bath. I mean, we travel a lot anyway, but um, it's introduced us to a lot of new people in Bath who I didn't know existed. My advice would be um, go for it. Um, you will, in the end, benefit yourself, and you certainly are benefiting other people, uh, clearly. Um, and I think you'll, you'll be surprised at 
at uh, how much you'll learn, how much you'll enjoy it. Um, it's, it's, you know, go for the ride. 